Welcome to Webidoo. In this short tutorial, I'll introduce you to the Canvas workspace and show you how to create beautiful and smart site backgrounds. The Canvas is divided into three major sections, the header, the footer, and the main content section. The size of the header and the footer is set by its dividers. You can change the position of these dividers very easily by dragging the divider into your new desirable position. You can use the rulers of the canvas in order to set the dividers in an accurate position. The two vertical dividers define the width of your website. As a default, the blank layout website option is set to 960 pixels width. You can change the width of your site by clicking on the background of the site outside the main content section. On the right side properties panel, the site size tab will appear. Now you can easily change the width of your site. To set the alignment of your website in the browser, use the site alignment options. You can choose to the left, centered, or to the right. In the site background tab, you can define your website background color. You can set a solid or gradient color and the opacity. You can also upload an image and set it as your image background. Just click on the image icon, choose your image on your computer directory, and upload it. Under Fitting, you can decide to keep the image in its original size or make an X or Y repetition of it across your site. Another very useful option is to set your background image as a pattern so that the size of the file of the background image will be comparatively smaller than a full-size image, which will help your website upload faster. Choose the position of your background image from the drop-down list. You can align the image to the top left corner of the browser, bottom right, etc. You can insert any design elements to the canvas using the Insert menu on the upper panel. Click on an icon or simply drag and drop the icon into the section you want. If you want your element to appear in every page across your site, just make a right click on the element and choose Repeat on all pages. This action will change the element's bounding box to turquoise, so it will be easy to recognize that this is a repeated element. Remember, if you make changes to this element, it will affect the appearance of this element on all of your web pages. To make the element non-repeatable again, just right-click on it and set Remove from all pages. Let's see how to create consistent backgrounds across our site. Insert a shape element, and then right-click on the element and set it to appear on all pages. Fill the shape with solid color or gradient and match it easily to your other design elements. Then, on the upper menu, you can decide to keep the shape as it is or fit the shape to height, to width, site, or background. That way, if you ever change your website size or change the divider's location, this shape will fit automatically. If you change the divider's positions, all the elements in the related section will change their own positioning relatively, like one group. For example, if we add a few elements to the footer and then increase the main section size by dragging its divider down, all the elements in the footer will move simultaneously to their new position, preserving the relative distance between them. This is all you need to know to design beautiful and smart site backgrounds. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, we're always here to help.